I wanted to show you guys that this is the Acer Iconia W3810. It's just been released just recently, uh, probably a couple of weeks ago, and it's been released with Windows 8. I uh, went ahead and installed the uh, uh, Windows 8.1 preview on it. So I wanted to take a quick look at it, see what um, you can expect to see if you once the 8.1 gets released, you'll get to get an idea what it is. As you can see, it's showing 8.1 preview there. This is the Pro Preview version, so we'll see. Uh, I accept here, and then uh, we'll go ahead and use custom settings. But we'll go through here, and with that other nice thing is, uh, this is also a. Uh, this come with uh, uh, Office uh, Students Edition, so it kind of gives you the uh, Word, Excel. Uh, PowerPoint and OneNote so it's, it's very nice you don't have to purchase those separately it's now being included in all these add-on processor type ones so le let me go ahead and, and sign in here real quick um, and I'll get this going on there here for you guys uh, let me show you and I'll show you a couple different things that are uh, I've already run it on my Surface Pro, so it's working very nice. It's got a couple hiccups here and there, but that's to expect. It's a preview version, so um, you know you gotta understand that it's not gonna probably run as uh, as fluid. We'll go ahead. Our um, we'll get this quickly. It asks you for a code. Once it gets sent over by your email to download, uh, you have to just go ahead and approve it. Let me go ahead and get that code really quick. And then we'll go ahead and put that in there real quick and then continue. If we don't come in, we'll go ahead and skip it for now and then we'll just continue to do another, you know, continue just looking at it. In the meantime, as you can see, the keyboard now has got... Um, it's got the numbers above the top uh, top row of keys so if you hold something down you get the new option uh, to go for the numbers or anything you have there before you had to go to the numeric pad here's another the layout here is kind of the same on this one we will go back to this this one depending on where you're at um, this actually spacebar becomes a little bit smaller and it gives you some more options depending on what you're filling out. Let me see. Let me check the email. Well, so far nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and skip it for now, and then uh, we can always go come back to it. I'll put this down here, and then we'll go ahead. Uh, this is just to use the SkyDrive. Now it's SkyDrive is kind of integrated now with the whole system so that's pretty nice too so now everything is kind of together so we'll use this we'll use this sky drive and then uh your account we'll use just an existing it's probably just not logging in because i got the other pin code that you have to uh put it in there so it can continue Let's see, let's go. Uh, I think it's still going through the whole setup here. So it's basically what it's done is kind of installed like the whole partition and redone everything like from brand new. I think the code just arrived here. Let's check it out. I think, yeah. If it asks for the code, I already got the code now, so that's nice. So again, uh, the viewing angles, like I mentioned in the other unboxing video, not the greatest. So, but other the fonts are good. Everything's looking good on the fonts. Uh, the other thing that Windows 8.1 takes advantage is going to be able to resize for smaller screens. So we'll see how well this one uh, looks and works better on Windows 8.1 preview version. Uh, we can expect 8.1 release in the fall of this year. So it's going to be a free upgrade for anybody that's got Windows 8. 
uh, so Microsoft decided to go ahead and uh, uh, give out that upgrade and no charge here you can see in the screen uh, the different kind of like uh, crystal like uh, panel this is kind of more of the older style panel so it's just not going to give you the best angles of uh, viewing and it's kind of got a lot of glare as you can see there while that's loading up so let's see how much longer if not I'll go ahead and pause it and I'll come back to it so it won't take as long this is taking a little bit longer than uh, when I actually set it up from when I unboxed it for Windows 8 again this guys this has also the EMCC type SSD drive so that it is a little bit slower it doesn't have the same uh, th megabyte throughput like it does on like uh, faster SSD drives here we go we're booted up as you can see it's very actually I think it's actually a lot smoother now it is actually running pretty smooth I'm surprised uh, how good is running so that's pretty nice as you can see you can customize now your top by sliding up you get the little angle so you can kind of rename any of the sections before you had to kind of bring them down so now you can um, drag and drop wherever you want this at put it anywhere before you would just have to be in this screen and then kind of check it down then you get the option to rename it now you just flip it up and you go to customize so you can customize the labels and now to bring uh, your apps you just slide up as you can see there that's that's pretty nice too because now you can have uh, quickly go to your applications so again this one let's go to the desktop and then we'll do go ahead and um, see what kind of space we have available after the upgrade so actually is giving us more free space now than it did when it was out of the box from uh, Windows 8 Windows 8 only had uh, I believe 9.9 .9 gigabytes now this was 14.6 gigabytes free of space so by doing that great and again see it's reading I got a 64 gigabyte card that micro SD card and it is it's able to read it um, no problem so if you want to plan on getting a 64 gigabyte I know it's only uh, on the specs it says it only reads a 32 gigabyte card but it does more than that I'll leave that one open let's go to the start here let's open up uh, explore here we'll see if we can do the split screen there you go now you have split screen very nicely that works very good now with Windows 8.1 like I mentioned before Windows 8 on a smaller screen it does not support this this is on the preview so you can see how it's split screen and you get the snap view now you see you can have your applications running on the side uh, you can have uh, your Facebook running in the corner you, and you can actually have the web browser running on the desktop side with no problem and again it's pretty smooth actually let's check one thing here we'll go um, as you know this 8.1 is brought back the start button here if you click click and hold it you can see how uh, you can get back the run search your desktop everything back but let's go ahead and um, let's do this let me check to see oops we'll do let's oops let me try to get it from the side here let's see what the task manager has got we'll run the task manager here just just take a look and go more we'll see what the performance where it's at and then um see how much is using it there you can see the cpu it's actually it's pretty pegged up very high as you can see there so that's using a lot of the of your battery power there and it could be because right now it's configuring and it's using a lot of the other stuff that i'm using in the background as you can see as we scroll up and down here 
that pegs the CPU up. And right now we have it. Let's go to the power options here. I do have, I believe, the, high, the screen's at full brightness here. No, it's, I have brightness. So we do have it on, on balance. So that's pretty good. It's able to unbalance to keep going up and down. And it actually pegs up to the 1.6 and 1.8. So it does. it's kind of like running on the higher speed right now. Hopefully we'll see that drop is using 34, 28% could be because we have all these other apps open so what I'll do is let me this to the side and we'll see if it drops down we'll close the browser close the and we'll see how much it drops down normally you should see we should see this at um, let's go let me go to more balance so yeah it's on balance so for some reason it's the CPU is kind of pegged up pretty high 1.76 again this is a Windows 8.1 preview so it could be something I'll have to look into it to see maybe it's something in the power settings that's causing that normally this should be around 0.77 that way it'll keep the battery down as I can see here um, we can see let's go to the processes maybe uh, Internet Explorer says oh, we have on the desktop running so CPU task manager is using about 4% let's go here Windows modules installer is using um, this in that task and see what that's probably more what's causing it but it can be all my windows but again like I mentioned let's go back here and I'll drag this out here. It's a little bit uh, kind of not, not not that there's responding, but it's kind of a little bit slow there. Now I have two browsers running. We have the Metro side and the desktop side, and everything as you can see is very fluid. Um, there's nothing that actually while well, that's loading. And that actually looks very nice there. Let's we'll go ahead and flip the screen here, see if it'll rotate. And there you go, it rotates once you have it in one. It won't rotate when you have it on the on the split screen there, but it will rotate when you have it on the single one, as you can see here. So fonts let's zoom in the fonts again hopefully you guys can see those they're pretty clear uh, there's not really no jaggedies around everything the fonts is very very good even at the smallest it's all nice and e even so but the resolution on it is doing a good job keeping it it's just the display itself is what's really distracting you can go back and forth everything working really nice let's go to the desktop again flip it rotation very nice for what it processor let's go to the travel here let it load up and then we can just kind of go into some of these see we we'll just click on any of this uh, just to see how quickly things load up that seems to load up pretty nicely loading up scrolling very fluid we'll do it in portrait mode as if you had a book very good as you can see there Let's see, there we go. Again, this is an 8.1 inch. Now this is running Windows 8.1 preview. So you'll probably have a few applications that might not run, uh, might give you some trouble. So far I just started this, so 
I'd have to test it out and see if, if there's any um, as you can see right here it's kind of already giving me not giving me but actually it is uh, it doesn't allow me to move this it's kind of like stuck on this side I'm only getting half of the fonts there there now we're back to seeing all these for some reason it just kind of not didn't want to show those up you can customize again here let's go show you let's do a quick um, well let's do we'll look for a let's go to wordpad and just kind of show you the keyboard so when you click on stuff on the Windows side, of course, the keyboard's not going to pop up. But just so you can look at the keyboard, hopefully that shows up. When you have it in portrait mode here, the keyboard now is pretty like tight, which is nice because now you can um, type very nicely. Testing. The, as you guys can see. Kind of, I'm trying to type here for you guys on the side here. Yeah, so something is uh, definitely again. It's a preview. Oh, there we go. Acer W3. So that you know that works nice there. We'll go ahead and close that one. Don't save. Let's go to the browser here. We'll put, um, we'll do Best Buy just so you can see other, see how quickly everything is, uh, is very actually very fluid. So that's nice. Uh, everything's still working very nice. What do um let's open up uh just uh let's do the I guess this one is only so far this one's probably doesn't support portrait mode. So you can watch your videos. We'll do see if it loads up here real quick. Oh, we have to set that up. We'll come back to it and set that up. Let's see what the calendar looks like on the 8 inch device here. Oh, we still have to sign in for that one, but we'll get that one going there. So that's just a, just showing you guys that you could put Windows 8.1 on your Acer here. But again, you you gotta expect some of this stuff. Uh, probably not like on this one. Seems like it's a little bit on the background. This stuck. Let me go ahead and close these out. Okay, let's go back to. As you saw that, those actually that application uh, was causing the screen to stay half on one side open and then showing the new display on the right side this is the new xbox let's go to the radio and just uh, so we have to sign back in so i haven't signed that in but so let me do this real quick for you guys let me pause it real quick and i'll sign that in back here <clears throat> went ahead and signed in so yeah when you you can have your collection here and it's got the windows here we'll just go ahead and um, just tap on whatever we have here available so you have your music it's half decent it's not the loudest but if you're in a noisy area you might not be able to hear the speakers but in a quiet area you should be having no problem listening to the music even at lower volumes 
so you can go to let's go back to radio explore and it kind of loads up what they have available and of course you can choose your own music that you have if you are subscribing to it you can have all that I just click here So that's good you can have your music playing and you can be looking on the internet working on your projects as you can see there and you can hold it all in your hands no problem you can read a book if you're reading a book you can just kind of hold it like this will be no problem you can see how quickly everything is you can flip here and go back to your music which is very nice because it's got the nice small form factor so you can switch around let me see if I can kind of have to grab it from one corner there like this so that, that's pretty good uh, so that was just a quick look if you guys are interested in, in putting the Windows uh, 8.1 preview on your you can just kind of go in here and load it up so just thought to show you guys what you can expect using Windows 8.1 on your Acer Iconia W3-810 thanks for watching